Okay. Hi again. Hi, Oksana. Third time. Today. Third time. Hey. This is our third video. And today is uh, we are ready to uh, have a, a conversation with a special guest. Esoteric, esoteric conversation with Elon Musk. Okay. Yeah. So we we know that Elon Musk just uh, bought it, uh, Twitter. And we know Twitter is uh, one of um, colors of the communication. Many people, you know, um, Donald Trump he was banned from Twitter. And now that we have Elon Musk, things are going to change. What mm -hmm. is behind B Elon Musk? He's a billionaire. He's the, one of the richest he men in the world. He has many skins. You said Elon Musk. He came to me. He has many skins. And I'm, I'm asking myself, how is that? And then mm -hmm. in um, if, if you turn him, you see many, many projections of him. Each projection has a different program. He can be good. He can be evil. He can be in the middle. He can carry out the programs needed at a certain, certain point by certain leaders mm -hmm. of the game of the program. Of the May of the general program, he's just like a figure being used for, you know, they need. It's it's like they need the celebrities, right? He's one of the celebrities mm -hmm. who have the power. Everybody who has the power is used by the system to convey the main messages and to make sure that the program go goes from one desired point to another desired point. Mm -hmm. and, so, and he's used for that. He doesn't belong to himself. He just wants to be, um, he, they're going to use him as an instrument to control the media. Um, and through him, there's something connected to the platforms being hooked up to satellite systems and spying on people and sorting people out by mental capacity, by the level of consciousness who write the comments, who go on Twitter. And those with higher consciousness, they'll be, they'll, since they're already connected to the platform, they'll take out information from them and store that information on satellite systems database. Mm -hmm. That's, I'm just, that's what he said that the Elon Musk said, who is in charge of that particular project. There is no other Elon Musk's. Mm -hmm. there, there's Elon Musk who is more like, closer to people who by being closer to people he is liked by people and those people who adore and like him and admire him they participate and he's a Gregory mm -hmm. under his name how many give how many energy. clones give energy to all the Elon Musk's basically to function mm -hmm. how many clones of Elon Musk we have we have six Six. Okay. In fact, he has a face like sometimes it looks like he's wax for me. And I, I look at him um, uh, because I know he's into uh, spaceships. Uh, he's, he has a very huge interest to, to go to Mars. Uh, he's always tweets about his uh, experiments. You know, his part is financially uh, sponsor um, the spaceship to Mars. He has a big, big ideas here. Um, and where all the money that he gains is uh, in his investments in crypto or is Tesla? Tesla and big T to me. Mm, he still and, makes a lot of money. But it's not Tesla. Tesla turns into Terra. Mm, okay. And then it goes like a sword in, in the middle of the earth right to the center and drains energy from it and the other part of the sword connects it to the Mars and Moon mm -hmm. and looks like Saturn is connected to in a triangular motion to the sword becomes a pyramid that has antenna as a sword and antenna goes into the essence of the Earth right in the middle mm-hmm 
Um, all right. So he will go into in his. Can I we ask to Elon because it's now is with us right now. Ch try to find the the in these six clones the 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 the, the number one basically it was the original one if you can. They stretched out his soul in a weird way in between these clones. It actually like um imagine horizontal stick goes through his solar plexus and connects all of them. Mm -hmm. And it's like he can become one and, or he can stretch out. He becomes several. The problem is one clone um, and then they kind of like put a disc on him through this uh, stick connection on one side. They touch some sort of uh, machine that uh, puts uh, uploads the certain program into him that he mm -hmm. has to act this way and it has to be it's a certain exchange let's say this particular country wants him to speak up for that country or help it out they do a deal there's always mm -hmm. grace and reptilians involved in the deal mm -hmm. and they exchange either human souls or energy for making you know being able to do that because all the people who influence the minds of the world are always, uh, it's like deal make, making machines or instruments of those dealers behind them. Okay, so basically is uh, is used, I mean, even if the original is used. Original is, was corrupted. Original is the one who started the company. Mm-hmm because he's actually connected to space he is he uh, he comes from those um space travelers mm -hmm. space traveler souls who actually initially that was his initiative to start up a company uh with the ideas given to him and then the more he desired information and connection to the source of information, that's how he signed his contract. Maybe it's because it, he wants to because, leave. Because, right, right. Because on this planet, on this in this reality, if you want something, you need to give something back. It's usually mm -hmm. a, a contract or a part of your soul or energy you share, part of you with somebody else to get something you want. Unless you just uh, walk, um, you know your own path and make it happen yourself but it takes a long time he wanted everything fast he's a very fast thinking um mm -hmm. soul that rotates at a high speed except they lowered his rotation vibration down to be able to mm -hmm. manipulate him in, in in his human container how much is the intelligence uh as how much is the intelligent the percentage we know 38. that we have Thirty-eight percent. Wow, of, it's quite of, big. Because they needed, they needed the siphon his intelligence for programs. It it's like the, he works for them, and they use mm -hmm. his intelligence. Mm -hmm. But that that's is... that's why it's confusing for people that don't understand is he bad or good? Why why does he say what he says sometimes and other times he says the opposite? It's because they're different clones that they see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so all the money that he created, what is 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 because focus all in the spaceship? Because I mean, I think that uh, he wants. Uh, he, he, I know we he, we know he's a traveler, like you says, but he physically wants like uh, demonstrate yeah. to the humanity that it's possible to to travel. So he's basically carry on with this big, um, uh, let's say, project. Right. Yeah, they have to. They in, have a project of uh, programming humans and Earth, and then when there are too many humans, and when the consciousness levels are too distinctively different, they would take the humans to Mars. So Some what is group. what is uh, what is this basically? Um, his project in Mars. What do you want to do? You want to create a city? You want to he create already, a new people? It, it exists already. New DNA? It's been ah. existing, the cities on the Mars already. He's just preparing the human minds slowly but surely towards the idea of traveling to Mars and living there. 
in in the cities that's already been done and exist. So do you, do you think that the, the humans that they're going to be there is because they want to, because the uh, that the earth will go and um, they will going to explode it's so you to, to save the humanity no, no it's because they're genetically manipulating certain number of people who agreed to genetic manipulation and when the project is done when dna is um you know um modified the certain way they want they would take that group of people and send them to mars where they can breathe with reptiloid forms also that live underground mm -hmm. okay uh can i ask uh, him directly oksana through you if uh, he's uh, in uh, i know that he's a big big investor in the bitcoin uh, in uh, crypto etc etc is mm -hmm. is a, a very his ability is, is a we know 38 percent anyway uh, i'm not surprised can you ask him if behind shiba inu he is behind they think that there is a Japanese investor behind Shiba Inu. What about um, Elon Musk? Is the real uh, creator of Shiba Inu or is a part of a group of Shiba Inu? I don't know what it is, but it's a coin. I do see it's a lots of coin. I see lots of cords, and lots of cords have different boxes. Each box represent an alternative reality which has its own uh, energy exchange program and one of them is bitcoin and the others he is like a holder of everything that is electronic he's preparing the humanity for everything being an electronic impulse shared so mm -hmm. so about um the question is 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 behind shiba inu I mean, this is yes. a the, the answer is yes. Mm, cool. Um, can you ask if uh, is this uh, cryptocurrency it will crash or it will take over other uh, I don't know the banks, uh, the real money? It will. It, the people who believe in it will not crash for them. The people who don't will crash for uh, for those. It depends. Uh, it will still it it'll still exist. They try to scare people that it won't, but it will. Uh, they always try to make create waves of negative information mm -hmm. for people to be acting out of fear. That's the main idea of this particular reality. It's like you take a syringe, you splash in information into the body of common you know, um, knowledge of people and they make waves of fear and anxiety. It has to be in this world, he has con constantly needs information to create fear and anxiety. So people act on it, even though it's just a game to get energy out of you. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin is not going to disappear anywhere. It's going to go in waves up and down, up and down, up and down. Like <coughs> so what about cryptocurrency? the same i see waves it's like an electric waves it goes up and down sometimes you feel like it's almost gone but then it shows up again can you ask him if shiba inu will be the next ecosystem uh, meme coin that we're going to make big big money i'm damn curious because you know you know why <laughs> he's laughing he's saying that next ecosystem coin is the human soul like it's always been Oh, thank you so much then. <laughs> no, I'm not interested. Um, so, um, yeah, I wanted to know about this investment, about Shiba Inu. If he's, yeah. he's because he's behind, he says yes. So he <laughs> wants to make this, this um, MA coin big? He makes not? money. He makes, it's like the system makes money, which means energy on all of this and on people believing in this particular currency or that particular currency being big someday when then they when it falls, people are in distress and then mm -hmm. goes back up and just a game. He he's laughing into my face. He says like if you want to play in this game, play it. I offer mm -hmm. you. It's like the rooms of traps. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's the same like banks, you know, they have a lot of millions and millions of banks mm -hmm. around the world. I mean, not millions, right. I mean, a lot of banks and every mm -hmm. bank has their own uh, power, their own energy. Memecoins are energy 
and yeah. ev everything is until the money one day will completely disappear we know that we know right. that that will not exist anymore right. but uh yes yeah, so that was a curiosity was a big basically in uh uh, many people was asking if he was behind this, uh, you know, this meme coin. Uh, they created, yeah. you know, when you will say the word before eternity. Yeah. yeah. They created a game, app game. The name is Shiba Eternity. So you spot on there. You, I know that you don't not you don't know about these things because, you know. No, I don't. I've never heard this. Mm. I just see him like a... Oh. Almost like he's sitting on this metallic chair, the original body that is totally sucked out of energy, and there is like five legs of a spider, almost like thin energetic uh, cords coming out and attached to the five clones of his. So, ask if he oh, allows Donald Trump to come back on Twitter. <laughs> Big question. He says one of the puppets. Really? Mm. One of the puppets. He's a puppet too. Puppet to deceive. Like the other puppets to deceive. Smart people don't believe in politics. Smart, smart people understand. The politics are the means to manipulate your human soul mm. and mind. No politician will help ever. Because he's mm -hmm. part of the rules of the mechanism of the game to suck you in, to hold you in, stuck like glued into the game. If you believe in they, you give them the energy to exist. You basically mm -hmm. you give them the energy to to act there uh, to throw their evil acts onto you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, will be any difference between uh, the old Twitter and the new Twitter with Elon Musk? There will be an impact in the society. Yeah. It wants to make see to to make different to make different um it's like different rules or something. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make it cooler, rules. more high tech, more mm -hmm. high tech. He's he's used as to bringing humanity more to getting attached to different platforms, getting attached to devices, getting connected because through devices they can read your thoughts, they can read your consciousness level, they can manipulate it too, they can stagnate it a little bit so you don't grow as fast as you would like to. That just that. Um, a technical progress. Those people are used for you to forget about the development of your a consciousness, but focus more on technical progress and be fascinated by it. Mm -hmm. By, you know, spaceships, uh, right. go to Mars, technology, uh, so yeah. advar adver the advertisement. Yeah, he's popular. like, he's like telling you, come with Cyborgs. me and show you. It's amazing. Technologies are great. I'll show you. you know, like one of those rooms in the movie, the same idea. Stay with me. Cybernet, Admire me. Cybernet uh, a world, basically. Mm-hmm. Because it's more specializing, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. So, okie dokie, um, thank you so much. We can let him go and, yeah, hopefully we'll be exposed like everybody of these uh, Muppets. And, you know, obviously in esoteric. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much, Oksana. Okay, thank you. So, what you felt before we leave? What you felt when you was connecting with him? I saw Trump as a Kermit, the frog, <laughs> and I saw, um, I don't know, I saw the Elon Musk as an Elmo for some reason. <laughs> it's a character-wise type, but yeah. Who's Miss, who is Miss Piggy? <laughs> Miss Piggy, yeah, I don't see Miss Piggy, but <laughs> I sometimes it's it's my own subconscious interpretation. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. So just uh, Elmo general. make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, because it's kind of a joke, you know, the whole thing. And people take everything so seriously. Problem, Donald Trump, that's even hilarious. So oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ba, 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 and yeah. we say thank you so much. It was our third video. I know you're very tired, Oksana. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And yes, we're going to to see you next week. And mm -hmm. we can have, we can do a couple of other ones this time more shorter. But yes, look after to see you next week. 
Okay, ciao, ciao, thanks. Ciao, ciao. ciao.